Hello guys, Messenger of Death here, and we're back once again with some more Hogwarts Legacy. So, it's been a few days since we played, uh, because I needed some R&R relaxation time. I really needed to rest and relax and just take a little bit of a break from doing some videos for a few days. I hope you guys don't mind. I really do apologize. I've got a lot coming up. And as you'll no doubt have seen, I'm starting my Digimon World Next Door to play through. And right now I am basically doing like so many different projects at once. It's a bit overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we are going to persevere if we can. Hopefully everything's coming through clearly. It doesn't look choppy. Too choppy. Uh, shadow's a little bit, but that's about it. Not too fussed about the shadow quality. Okay. So I believe we were supposed to look for Scrub. Rebellion. Scrub can help. Incendio. Uh... I guess it's just enchanted. Rebellion. Which one was it? This one. There we go. The young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Let me scroll up at the water's edge by the broken Down darts. to the water's edge? Hmm. This had better not be a trick. I agree. Because that would suck. Rebellion. Uh, let me out. Let me out. May as well while I'm here do I know this I'm one. I'm try when I see one. Yeah, I do too. So. Now we've let inputted me. that. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this. And we want to be very careful. Because I did at one point have this game actually... Uh, have this big boulder on my first character roll down and end up in the water and I couldn't get it out. So I had to leave the area and come back another time just to do it. And uh, this has been a bit frame ratey actually. Why is it being frame ratey? It shouldn't be. I do not like how frame rate is being. Hold on. Into the hole. See, I can always find the hole, me. I know what I'm doing. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'm sorry if I look a bit of a mess. I literally just woke up and I've got a lot of videos to do, so I'm just rushing today, trying to get stuff done. Digimon World Next Order is very difficult right now, so I'm trying to figure it out and progress further, but I'm having a little bit of a struggle, I'm not going to lie. I don't know whether it might have been a bad idea to play it on normal mode, because... I am just getting my butt kicked. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies well, for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Uh, of course, what can I do for Happy you? to help, especially <clears> if you <throat> can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Okay. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. Is that right, She bro? was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. 
Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black Family ring is also in the grotto. Uh. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Oh, fair enough. How did you know about the book I found? How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Is that right, Scrope? Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. A very wise trait. Tell me about the ring. Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black Family Crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. Okay. What happened to your ear? How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. Damn. One Savage. day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Bruh, <laughs> it's not a good heart. Poor, it seems poor this elves. elves both. Poor house word. elves. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Uh, they they really do treat Scrope elves always like right crap. Here you. Uh, best of luck finding your pages. And... Very well, thank you, Scrope. Uh, I'm getting frame rate. Why am I getting frame rate? I shouldn't be getting frame rate. Is it because I have Chrome open right now pod in the video? Maybe. Oh. Oh, hi. 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 No. Aha! Battlefeet is mine. Yeah. Nah, bro. How about that? Out of my face. How dare you? Try and sneakily ambush me from behind the bloody tree. It's been uprooted. Oh man, there's three of them. Come on. Oh, how you like it? Finesse them because I can. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. Ah, nah, bro. Yeah. What? Okay. Win with a venomous tentacular. Don't mind if I do. Julian feet complete. What up? Come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. That's a bit better. Give me my Julian feet. Thank you. Incendio. Ow! Bruh, I don't want you eating my ass. I pre I'd appreciate if you just really just did not try and eat my ass. I don't want to be tongued in my ass. 
I'm sorry, but I really, really don't. Oh, nah. Ole. What? 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 Come on. Let me oh, what happened? Incendio. I do like a nice bit of fire in your mouth. Another one? Woo. Okay. I have no idea how you flip a dog bug onto its back, by the way. So, uh, I guess it... No, I actually have no idea. No. I guess you need a very specific spell to flip a dog bug onto its back, because I've tried... All kinds of things. And I've just not been able to do it. I tried all different kinds of spells trying to accomplish that, and the game was just like, nope, nope, nope. Every time. Ooh, interesting place. Is this where Rebellion. the ring is, Scrope? Why would I need a piece of toast? Why would I, I need a piece of toast indeed? Colonia's Black Journal. Could it be? A visitor? Hello there. Oh! Ah! Ooh! <laughs> ah! The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. How in the world did you find this place? A house Probably. elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Ah. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, it was to no avail. I thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. Very well. May I have them? I'd like to have those pages, if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to find the pages. Hmm. How did you lose your head? I think I could guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Ooh. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. <laughs> yeah, because the light breeze just ripped your head right from your shoulders. Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. Oh. They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. Interesting. And why did... How did you steal from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Uh. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. I see. Well, I'll see you at the forest. I suppose if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Okay. Thank you. Revelio. Now there is a chest in here, it's not mine if I do, which seems to be like a treasure chest of some kind. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. 
I haven't actually done any of the treasure maps in this game yet, by the way. Um, so... Who knows what I may find. Completely new for me. Doodly do, do do do. Come on, let's go. Move along, move along, move along. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollonia's grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black family ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Nice you. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Scrope. again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Indeed. I'm sorry about the mistreatment that you uh, have faced. Now then, where should I go next? Should I do quests? Should I not? What should I do? Let's see. Go to the goblin camp, find those own keys. You know what? We'll save the game. And, uh. I feel that would be a good idea. I don't know why I have two saves, but I really have two saves. I don't remember why I made two. I think it's just in case something went wrong. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, because in case the season changes, that way I have a save point I can reload that isn't like that. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Indeed. Revelio. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. So, is there really no other quests? Hang on. Like, main story quests. Right now, why? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Me, Jack Dalt, the Forbidden Forest. You know what? We'll do this first, I suppose. In a moment. Accio. Incendio. No. Rebellio. Cursed fiends. Cursed fiends indeed. Giant spiders. Ha. Huh. So far from the forbidden forest too. So I need a fast travel point. They okay. Fast travel indeed. This is the closest one. Okay, and there's a million trail over there to the left, so I may go do that real quick as well. Because getting the extra storage space, definitely going to be very useful. Um, I don't want to go too crazy because it'd be a lot better once nice I can to fly around. You, my young friend. To try and get these done. Uh, but if it means getting a few done now, just to get a little bit of inventory expansion. My dearest Apollonia, would you get to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pasty almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon. Yours, Richard. Rebellion. So... Wait a minute. I think this is uh, that treasure map, actually. You know. What am I doing? I don't know, my, my brain right now. 
Lumos. Lumos. No. Oh, Enchanted there we go. Candles. Aha. I wonder where they're heading. Where indeed? Over to the ruins, mayhaps. Uh This isn't I never actually found this on my other the character. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Lots of things screen about. Uh, what is it? The. Why are you trying to take me? Uh. The treasure must be nearby. Well, I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest Ooh. could seem romantic to some. Treasure yes. hunting suits me. Nice. Cool. Accion. Incendium. Ha ha. Right, I'm actually not going to continue on. Because I feel like one thing I should definitely do before I venture on. And it's going to be a very good idea. Head to Hogsmeade and sell stuff so I have an empty inventory. Otherwise, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a problem where I just can't really do much in respect of, uh, yeah, looting things and getting new upgrades and gear. And I'd rather not have that happen, especially considering it locks you out of opening certain chests if you open it while it's full. You lose the item completely, which I'm not wanting to mess around with. Um... What am I doing? What, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to go... Yeah, down here. Yeah. That is correct. That's where I want to be. Over here at Ollivander's. I was Not wondering Ollivanders. when I'd see you again. My brain. Jeez. Let's us. look at what we have, shall we? I get it that I'm tired, but this is just not okay. Oh, I got to go. Let uh. me know if there's anything else I can do. To... Yeah. I'll let you know. Okay, so we have a trait free on this, which is a bit of an upgrade. Is that literally all of it? I'm a bit confused. What? Uh, I got a scarf, didn't I? Ah, oh, it's a transmog. Transform the lock. I get it. Okay. I'm going to go back. Uh, what's this one? Venomous Tentacular Robe. Okay. Well, we'll run around with our usual. I just love this. I just love it. The skulls, the dark energy and everything coming off it. Just... Mwah. Absolutely beautiful cosmetic item. Like, usually I don't really pay for cosmetics that much in games. Uh, the reason being is because... Why? Why, really? Like... I'm not desperate enough to look a certain way in games. I mean, it'd be cool, sure. But most of the time, I tend not to do it, because it's just like, right, well, it's not really going to impact me in any way. I don't like pay-to-win systems. So I don't pay for those either. The main reason why I got it was just purely happenstance because of the pre-order. Uh, and yes, I did get the deluxe edition... Um, so, that probably would tie into it. And that's because it said I got it a few days early. So, I happen to get these al alongside it, which is awesome. And then I can, uh, at least show it off to you guys, if you guys didn't get a pre-order. Which is cool. Here I am, as good as my word. Here you are. 
We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Sure. Right. I'm going to save the game here, though. And I'm going to call it for now, because I've got a lot of editing and messing about to do today. Um... I apologize, it's been a bit of a short one. Next time it'll be longer. I promise. If you did enjoy today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you much, guys, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.